personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm you big stiff idiot. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey what's going on? It's your boy BT and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now I really should be asleep right now but when you have a burning, des when you have a burning desire to be great and give the boxing fans the content that they, that they, that they need and that they deserve you know, you put in the extra overtime, you'll put in the extra video. And this and this extra video that I'm making that where I really should be sleeping right now, I wanted to talk about a fighter that I, I really think has done more than enough to earn my attention and the attention of all boxing fans as he's been delivering great results in spectacular fashion. And that and that comes in the form of Russian heavyweight contender Arslanbek Mahmudov. Okay. Now shout out to Arslanbek Mahmudov. You know, a very, very exciting fighter to watch. A guy that comes in there and puts punishment on his opponents. You know, a, you know, Arslebek, the Lion Mahmudov is not a joke. You know, he's 14-0, 14 knockouts, devastating puncher, concussive power, uh, six foot five and a half, 265 uh, pounds of, you know, just straight dominance, alpha male uh, frame of his. You know, he's, he's someone that you want to look out for in this heavyweight division because... This past weekend, he had a fight against heavyweight veteran Marius Vak. And while Marius Vak isn't like a great heavyweight, Marius Vak is still a solid, you know, a top 50, top, you know, 60, you know, heavyweight, you know, a veteran, a guy that's been around the ring, a guy that knows his craft, who knows his way around the ring, a guy that's taken uh, Dillian White the distance, uh, a guy that's beaten Erkin Tepper, a guy that's that, that 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 took Alexander Povetkin all the way to the 12th round, a guy that took Vladimir Klitschko in his prime to the distance. Uh, he's beating the J like Jason Gavin. So he's at a solid level. You know, the same guy that's knocked out Christian Hamber. He's at a solid level in heavyweight boxing, Mary Izvok. And, um, you know, if, if for Mahmoudov to, to, to beat a guy like this would be a statement, but also to stop him and continue the, the run of uh, of knockouts would be an even bigger statement. And my, oh my, the Lion, Mahmoudov, made a hell of a statement this weekend. Now, credit to Vak. Even in defeat, he showed... Um, some of his quality as he took Mahmoudov six rounds. Um, not the longest Mahmoudov has ever been because Johnny Rice, shout out to Johnny Rice. Johnny Rice uh, took Mahmoudov to seven rounds a couple years ago. And we, 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 we've seen Johnny Rice. He's improved as a heavyweight and gotten better since he fought Mahmoudov. But, um, you know, this is a statement for Mahmoudov. And I, and I think, you know, he's a guy that on this channel, at least, I can't speak for other platforms that cover the sport, but at least on this channel here on True School Sports, we're gonna start talking about Mahmoud. We're gonna start making a, making it a point to follow his career, and make make videos about him because, um, you know, I think he's earned it. He's, he's at least a top thirty heavyweight now. He's at least a top thirty heavyweight. So you're looking at maybe one to two wins for him from him really being on people's radar. And I want to kind of get out ahead of a lot of people. This is a guy that he's doing what you want heavyweights to do. You know, he you put people in front of him. He's he's get he's knocking them spark out fourteen and zero. 14 knockouts. You can't really ask nothing more from him, from him. And it's not like his resume is padded with no names. You know, he's beating a veteran like Marius Vak, Erkin Tepper. Uh, uh, you know, he beat the corpse of Samuel Peter. Uh, Johnny Rice, which, you know, a win that's aged very great and ever since Johnny Rice has come back and, and picked up two good wins against my, my, Michael Coffey. And it looks like he's on the way to, towards turning his career around, you know. So, Mahmoudov, you know, one thing I can say about him just from watching his fights and just taking time to, to watch him for myself is this is a guy that has concussive power. You know, you watch him, he, he has that kind of power that will stop you riding your tracks. And, you know, uh, I know a lot is talk made about Hergovic, Philip Hergovic, who I like, and is a friend of the channel who I think is very great, who has a chance to be a future heavyweight champion. You know, a lot is made of him. A lot is made of Joe Joyce. A lot is made of uh, a lot of these guys. But this is, a, you know, put this guy in there. Put Mahmoud up in the running because this is a guy that's, you know, now he's NABF, NABO, or uh, NABF, NABA champion. And uh, he's knocking out good veterans uh, in, in, in impressive fashion. And this, this is a guy that didn't have a ton of amateur experience. He didn't have the glossy, nice amateur background. You know, this, this is a guy that really made his name fighting in the World Series of Boxing. Um, and anybody, you know, and, and that's where he made his mark. Um, this is a guy that's been fighting domestically in Canada, so I feel like for us American fight fans, 
you know, Makmura has been kind of a, a secret. He's been he he's been, he's been a secret that's been kept from us for a little bit of time in the heavyweight division. You know, he's had fourteen fights, and twelve of them ha- twelve of them have been in Canada. Canada, one, one of them was in Mexico, and the other one was in Mexico, and the other one was where Mexico. Oh no, my bad. Thirteen of them were in Canada. One of them was against Mexico. The one being against Pavel Sauer. So he he's not really been on American television. He's not a guy that promoters are shoving down our throats. He's not a guy whose name's being pegged as the next heavyweight champion, great or anything like that, like like Joe Joyce or Hergen Vick or none of these guys. But listen, I know fighters. I know fighters. This guy's power is scary. This guy's power is scary. His frame for the division is great. Um, you know, you could say maybe he's a little bit slow, but I think with the right development, with the right development and with the right training. Mahmoudov is going to be a serious threat in this division. I mean, we're talking about a guy that I think, with the right development, might have a chance to challenge and really be a threat to a heavyweight title because of the power, because of what he's bringing to the table. Now, I got to be real. Mahmoudov hasn't had one of those fights yet where somebody's punched him in his fucking mouth and really taken him to those deep, dark, uncomfortable places. We'll see what happens when he gets hurt and uh, someone asks some questions of him. But for, for, for now, you got to give him some credit. This guy has fought... You know, good good veteran fighters um, in the early stages of his career, and he's knocked them all out. The results been the same, so it's impressive. And I mean, when you get further into the numbers, you know, of his fourteen knockouts, you got what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten of them are first round knockouts. So he really hasn't even gone the distance. But when he has gone the distance, he still performed against good veterans. So I think it's going to take an even better veteran than the Johnny Rice or the Marius Vak level to really take him the full distance. But we'll see what happens when he go, when he gets to the 10th round and the 11th round and the 12th round. But for now, you know, right now, this guy is a knockout force in heavyweight boxing that we need to really uh, keep our eyes off for. Because if we don't, well, what's going to happen is he's going to fight a name on the undercard of an American card. And when we least expect it, he's going to knock someone the fuck out. And we're going to say, man, who is this guy? But we're, we're getting ahead of it here on True School Sports. Uh, Ars Lebek Mahmoudov, if you haven't checked him out, please do. Because if you don't, you're really missing out. And he's someone to, that, that I think is a, a threat in the heavyweight division. So leave a comment down below. What do you guys make of Mahmoudov? Uh, take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just a kid from Daniels. So until next time, take care, guys. Thank you for watching another video on True School Sports, the home of boxing. If you made it this far, do me a favor and do yourself a damn favor. Hit that subscribe button and surely you will not be disappointed. You know, True School Sports bringing you the latest and greatest, the untouchable, you know, boxing content, interviews, news videos, breakdowns, live fight reaction extravaganza. We've got a great community of, of people here, boxing fans all over the world from America to the UK to Australia and on and on and on. So join the empire today. Hit that subscribe button. Take care and God.